Hello everyone. Let's talk about one of the another interesting things which is uh, talking with your SQL database. So how can you chat with your SQL database in a natural language and then you can get some responses out of it. So let's say you want to know how many records are there in a particular table or how many employees are having salary greater than 2000. So these are the things which we will be writing in a plain English and we are expecting Azure OpenAI to or come up with a response with proper data or the response of the query. So in order to execute this, first of all, you need to have an Azure Active subscription. And in my case, I have already created an instance of SQL Azure DB in which I'm having a table employees, which is having just few number of records. And this I am doing just for the experimental purpose. That's why I didn't create many tables or multiple records but it's good enough to do the, run this experiment. So what you need to do is you f make sure that you have installed these three things, python.net dev, langchain openai, and then langchain experimental, because these are the things which we will be needing. And then we will go ahead and import the required packages. So I would say from langchain openai, import Azure OpenAI and if you are going with the chat model then definitely you can choose Azure chat OpenAI but in my case I'm going with just the completion endpoint so I'm assuming that uh, before doing this you have also deployed a model for this experiment which is in Azure using Azure OpenAI Studio okay and then next thing we need is to read the environment variable so for that I'm saying .NET dot e v import and here we need to have dot net values dot env underscore values so once these are done we are good to go ahead and read our configuration so in my case i have pushed all those configuration settings like endpoints api version and uh, the model deployment name all these things i have already pushed uh, inside my configuration pile so i'm just calling it over here and you can also do the same if you don't want to expose your credentials uh, to anyone. Okay, so once this is done, I will quickly execute the cell. Okay, so and the next thing we need to do is we need to construct the LLM. So for that, I'm going to create a new variable LLM. And here we will be using Azure OpenAI. And there are a few parameters which we need to supply here. The first one is model. So let's read the model from the configuration file and then we need to have a deployment name which is same as a, oh, sorry here it should be deployment name which is same as our model name in this case and i will be providing the same value as your open ad deployment and let me put it in different different lines here so it would be easy for us to read then we need to have api key in place so i would say api key and then again we'll read it from the configuration and here i will say azure open ai key the next thing we need is API version because th these are the fields which we need specifically for Azure OpenAI. Whereas if you are going with OpenAI, you just need a key and uh, you are good to go. And so I would choose the version here. Then we also need endpoint settings. So for that, we will say Azure endpoint. So you must have noticed that earlier it was uh, base something. Now that has been renamed to Azure endpoint earlier it was api base so here i would say endpoint after that if you have any other parameters like temperature or anything you want to set just you can set it here otherwise let them be the default ones so now our llm object is ready let's execute this as well okay so we are good to go next thing we need to create a connection with our sql database so for that i'm using here sql alchemy so let's import that here and that's the reason i said that uh, install this langchain experimental as well as uh, i think i forgot to mention one thing 
you also need to install SQL Alchemy. So once uh, that installation is done, then we are good to go and create our query engine. So we'll say from SQL Alchemy import create engine. And then we need to use the uh, database thing. So we'll say from Langchain. So how we are doing with Langchain, you can quickly check the documentation on the Langchain um, portal itself or the documentation itself. So here I would say a SQL database, import SQL database. So these are the two things which we need and now we are good to go ahead and create our engine. So let's use the create engine function and it is going to take the connection string. So connection string, make sure that you are defining correctly in your configuration file. So if you are just doing for demo purpose, you can even hard code it over here. But in my case, I don't want to expose it. So I'm just doing it over here. Then I will go ahead and create a database object using SQL database. And here it will take few parameters like engine. And if you want to support the views, then you can just say view support equal to true. It's up to you. And next thing is you need to define the schema. So schema in my case is DBO. Once this is done, it is always good to go ahead and just test your connection because sometimes your connection string is wrong, then things will not work as expected. So for testing the connection, you can call any of these functions. I will quickly show you. So here you have get table info, get table names, get usable table names. You can choose any of these because we just want to see whether we are able to connect successfully or not. So. It should give me my table name here. So employees, it means we are good to go and everything is working as expected. So next thing is we will go ahead and use experimental SQL so that we can create a chain and run it. So let's go ahead and do that part now from blank chain experimental dot SQL import SQL database chain. So yeah, it is here. Then I would say DB underscore chain, which is the variable which is going to hold my this newly constructed chain. And here I will say um, it is chain from LLM. Okay, so here we can supply in which LLM we want. So this is the one which we have already created in about step. Then you need to provide your database. And then uh, your verbose settings, if you want to see everything or do you want to hide it. So feel free to set the setting as well. And then you need to say use query checker because we want to make sure that whatever the response it is giving, it is verifying the, whether the query constructed is correct or not. So we'll say use query checker equal to true. And I think we are good to go. Let me execute the cell and validate. Okay. Now, next thing is uh, we just need to say db dot uh, db underscore chain and run. So this is the place where we are going to uh, write our natural language questions. So here, let's say uh, count the rows in the employees table. And it should come up with the correct answer and I'm expecting three. So here you can see three because in my database, there are just three rows. Let's execute this so that, so here you can see there are three rows, Nick, Rose and Maria. So, and if you don't want to see all these, just disable the verbose setting. The next question we can take should be a little bit tricky. So let me give a question like list everyone whose name starts with M in employees table. And it should give us Maria. And here you can see that 
this is your uh, response and if you want to look at the query that also you can see here select top five username from dbo while username like m and then person mark so you can write any query and uh, based on your tables and it will give you perfect answer so this is what i intended to show you today and it looks very easy so you just need to construct the llm construct the query engine then you connect your database make sure your connection is working as expected then you need to create the database chain and run it against that uh, run your queries against that so that's how easy it is i hope you enjoyed watching this and if you are looking to perform the same experiment using OpenAI, then you just need to construct this LLM object accordingly. So right now I have imported Azure OpenAI. Similarly, you can go ahead and use OpenAI. And the rest of the settings, you can tweak it very easily. So that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching.